And that's where we begin tonight. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm David Scott. And I'm Deb Barris. It's not the first time Petland has been accused of selling sick animals. And now the Wichita Animal Services Advisory Board is considering a vote to ban retailers in the city from selling them. But Petland says it works only with legitimate breeders and is committed to making sure everything is done above board. Case Eli Higgins was at that meeting and joins us with what happened. Eli. Yeah, David, one woman we spoke to at that meeting said she has spent years of turmoil taking care of two dogs uh, that ended up being sick for years that uh, were purchased at Petland. But the store is defending itself, assuring the board today that it only works with the best breeders that take good care of these animals. Had multiple cancerous growths removed, had multiple treatments. Allie York tells the emotional story of her best friends spending years fighting for their lives. Hank, the golden retriever, just had another tumor removed this week. Elway, the Keyshawn, finally had to be put down when she needed him the most. I was hospitalized with COVID in 2020 um, and really dealt with deep depression after that. Um, it was a really hard time for everyone, but my dog, Elway, got me through it. York says it's all because of what some people call Petland's puppy mills, the breeders Petland gets its animals from. And that's exactly what Wednesday's Wichita Animal Services Advisory Board meeting was all about, whether it should ban Petland from selling dogs and cats in Wichita. I'm not surprised because it's not it's not a new feat for animal right, rights activists. While York says the store gave her the cold shoulder with her dog's health problems, Petland East manager Lydia Secondine says while she doesn't remember dealing with York directly, it's something she takes very seriously. It's a very emotional topic. You know, pets are our family that we choose. But she thinks banning retail stores will only make the problem worse. I think it, it should absolutely be the right of a retail store to be able to offer, you know, puppies and kittens for families uh, that come from 100 um, percent licensed and registered breeders with the highest standards, and that's absolutely what Petland aims to do. York says while she thinks the meeting was productive, she still thinks banning retailers from selling dogs and cats is the way to go. I think it's ironic to be in this facility full of adoptable pets and to be discussing whether we should be able to sell for $5,000 at 39.5% a dog to someone. This meeting today went way over time, so there has not been a vote yet. The board uh, moved to bench this discussion, so we'll pick up where it left off at its next meeting. I'm reporting live, Eli Higgins, Cake News on your side.